Mr. Revealing here. In today's reveal, we reveal how to take apart the dash in order to get to the head unit. As we attempt to install this Xtron's Android 9-inch head unit. Mr. Revealing! He reveals stuff. He's so revealing. Here we are in the car. This is Robert. Say hello, Robert. Hello, Robert. Robert. All right, and uh, Robert is going to uh, destroy our dash for us, tear it apart, because he just did a video. Check out his channel below, uh, Robert Cosio channel, and he does a, a repair on the Prius glove box. But check his out for that. But So he just did that, so he's used to tearing these things apart, and he's going to tear this one apart. So again, we're getting rid of this head unit and using an aftermarket uh, Chinese one. Yes? Here we go. Go for it. Go for it, Robert. Don't be scared. All right, we're going to take the shifter knob off All right, first. he is turning the knob. How does that feel in your hand? What do you mean? Is there some resistance? Do you want to say it's shifty? Yeah, that, well, you are very shifty. Um, just because I found it was easier with the other one, I'm going to take this off again. Oh, by the way, your I did shock break was, that. Yeah, I your broke shock that my shock came out. Yeah. Hello, your shock is you already broke. You know how to broke. fix that? Yeah, we'll, we'll, glue? We'll Super do, glue? Not sure. We'll figure that out later. And um, just so you know, Robert is very uh, punny. So no matter who makes the pun, if you could comment below at the best pun you hear in this whole install. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna take out this. Uh, oh goodness! Hey, where are oh. all these feminine products here, Mike? Okay, those just pop right out. Popped right out. And then uh, now this uh, this this dash here. So you took the knob, then you took the no, but then vent. the lower box. You took off the the glove glove box. Take off this this uh, this plunger here. For the uh, it's like a shock for the glove box, and that then, is that is shocking. And then we just pull the glove box out, Ding. and then now um, we took out this uh, AC vent, and this other vent comes out with it. This one actually comes out first. This one comes out second. But if you put enough pressure, they both come out together. And then now this is all not ne may not be necessary, but just in case we need more space, I just did it because it's just so easy to do well, it. Before he grabs the next piece, just so you know, it is about 200 degrees in this garage right now, so it is very hot. That's fine. So I'm looking now, since you provided with these uh, wonderful tools, I'm looking for um, a, sk a skinny tool and here. Those are the trim removal tools. And I'm gonna go after. I'm looking for an easy place to pull up on which is i'm gonna go for this corner here and it just pops right up uh, like that, that that was a lot of force you used a lot of that. force but it's okay um so it is uh can you reveal the bottom of that yeah so what happened just so you know uh if you feel like a cable getting caught which this was as you're pulling up don't put pressure on the cables try to make sure that the cable is clear off of uh the shifter plastic here and each one of these has a, uh, a release. You're going to have to release each one. How do you um, release those without breaking them? Well, there's a release, a simple release, which uh, you just apply pressure. And this one, what the, for the black one, it was just right there, a little pressure here, and it released. And um, so this one here um, isn't being um used so that one looks like it's just a wireless one so we're not going to do anything there and then the same here just a little pressure right in there so you're going to remember where all these were well you don't have to that's the nice thing so it's uh if you look the black one is smaller than the white one and um that's usually not the case understood but in this case it will help um for when you're putting them back together uh you can't really put it you won't be able to put those in wrong. There's now, only now, one way they could go. Do you clean up in here when you're done? That looks you a little dirty. Yes, it's very dirty, and I'm going to leave that to you. That will be your project. Because okay. uh, I did spill a coffee yes. uh, somewhat recently. So then now... Um, All in here. So th this this trim here is covered by this trim. So this this trim piece... The black trim? The black is over the silver, okay. in this case. Not It's not always in mine. It's a, a light uh, beige. 
So you have a black interior. So that piece. Bo both bo mine, uh, my vehicle, I think, is also silver like this. But uh, regardless, uh, the the black is um, this black piece here, which includes this cup holder. All this needs to come up out before we can access. Um, before we can access uh, this trim. So, All right, go for it. All right, well, do we, it. So up here. Actually, now I'm thinking maybe this glove box didn't need, did not need to come out, but I was just uh, wanting to include that. So look, that, that we we probably could have just did this. Yeah, he's got a little overzealous. Yeah, but that's fine. It's good for the video. Wow. wow. So Ooh. so that comes out. Yes, it, it does require uh, pressure. But what you have to be careful of is, as these pieces, as you can see, this these pieces here, they they get skinnier in this zone. So the thicker plastic don't have to be as careful as with the thinner. So. Now, now I heard, I did look online at someone else doing this, and they said when you put that piece back in, you need to put the top part in first. It, like yeah. the top? So, right there, that part right there where your right hand is on. Okay, so what what I'm just going to say is what I found when I was doing my glove box repair, if you, this, actually, this, this is together, but this can actually come apart. But, um... So I'm putting pressure over here, but this definitely comes out and we'll need, we'll, I won't do that right now. I'm just going to get this out of the way. Um, and then, but where with this here, you don't, you don't have to um, take this out, but just, it, it's so easy to do it that we're going to. What right? was that? Too? So this, this goes to the uh, kilometer, it's the clock and the switch to change it from uh, kilometers to miles per hour. Okay. And, um, but again, here, if we look at um, this bezel here, this does come apart. So if you see here, this will come apart. And you do need to take, you do need to take this apart. This has to come apart be because when you're putting it back together, mm -hmm. um, it, you want to be able to do this without that because that with the, the cup holder it's weighs a lot. Way. So it, it kind of torques the plastic when you're trying to do it. Uh, it, with the other piece uh, assembled and it just makes it so difficult so you definitely want to take this so trim. so you're suggesting to embezzle it Bing. definitely um so then now we're left with the the the, the uh, well definitely see the three bolt two bolts here right, let me show, show me the bolts what do you got? two bolts here right so there's a bolt here there's uh -huh. a bolt there and there's a cut there and where's the cut all right, oh, right here's yeah. oh, the cut oh goodness so you so gloves probably would have been a good idea uh, I'm not a fan of wearing uh, the glove, though. So one up there, and then the one on the bottom. Um, so now this 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 has to come out. Um, and what size bolt are those? These are probably going to be 10 millimeter. That's typical uh, for uh, Toyota. It's going to be 10 millimeter. We'll we'll know as soon as. Uh, but anyhow, this um, has to come out. Oh, you, you, your other hand covered that. So you just yanked off the start switch. So, yeah. So what I did there is just using pressure here and then and then guiding the lower piece, pulled it out straight forward. It comes right out. No need to really take it off. Um, but you can. Again, it's just a simple. Can we see the front of that? Plug. So this is the front. So, so we definitely don't want to start here, right? Don't want to start Ding. here. Uh, no, I'm killing you on these. Come on. All right. And then if you want to swing all the way over here, there's another fourth bolt right down there. There's a fourth bolt. You need a band-aid? Yeah, we will need a band-aid. How about a boo-boo bear? Actually, yeah. All right. You might want to pause it while I do uh, some. Uh, oh, good. Look, wait, look at a close-up of that. Oh, you got some skin out of there? That's how you know you're working. Yeah. Ooh, All right, let me go clean up. <laughs> okay, now you had you found your tool. Yes, yeah, that's a ten. It's ten millimeter. And wait, wait, wait. And you found the band aid. I'm, I'm banded it up. The boo boo bunny helped. Oh, yep. Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna take out the four bolts. So we're gonna take out the four bolts. So very, I mean, no pressure there. Um, they're not in very tight, so it didn't take any uh, effort really to uh, get that out. So, as far as we know, this has never been taken out before. I would assume no. So, that's the length of my bolt. And we've got to do four of those. 
there's not much pressure on those bolts so when we go to put them in we're not going to over tighten them do you find you might need a magnet in case you drop that? definitely and th 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 this uh um, on the bottoms yeah so that that's gonna be possibly needed for that one my hand's not gonna go in there so we're gonna leave that one unscrewed i don't know um so I'm working on this lower left one. That one I can access with my hand since we re removed the uh, the start button. So this one I can get out with my hand, so I was able to get that out. But if you're a carny, you could probably get it, right? Small hands. This one, maybe. Austin Powers. And then um, your steering wheel. Is it adjust over here? Move that steering wheel down. Down? Yeah, just to get that so that way. Well, I guess I gotta drop the shifter, right? So that's not in the way. That's not a shifter. That's the uh, windshield wiper lever. Level, le lever. So that's the other one. So now we have three out, and the, the fourth one is still down in there. And if you have your magnet tool, you just grab that out. Um, or. I, Did you get it? I was able to pull. It came out enough to where I'm able to. to the good news is, is there's a uh, piece of plastic here, so it just dropped into that plastic right there. Oh, okay. Able to grab it. So if you did drop it, it's not like it's well lost forever. Right. It could be though. All right. So that's that. And then uh, now I'm expecting that this is gonna slide out. So this um, should pull out. Um, it's not sliding too much. No, no, no. There you oh, go. So, okay. Oh, you had to give a little force. Yeah, a little bit of force on the. I, I was using pressure under these two pieces two here. Lips. Yeah, because what I, I wanted to lift up in a way so that I wasn't hitting anywhere near. I don't want to get near this glass here. So I was making sure that pulled Should up. Should you put a towel underneath there so it doesn't scratch the underside? At this point, that's not a bad idea. Oh, should I pause? I'm going to pause it. Okay, so. Putting the towel down, and the good thing is this is thick. You don't want to use a thin one. Use a, uh, something that's heavier, so that when you you know you're resting it, you can be sure that the bezel down here is protected. Um, because you don't have a lot of give. Um, there's this is how much room you'll have when it's coming out. Um, I'm gonna start with this blue one here. Each one Do you of know these. What each one is. I, I, not without look like. This here is either antenna or XM radio. Um, that would be my guess. But no, I don't know until we were looking at the back. But each one just putting pressure on the release clips, which are on the top. And even down here, the, each one is on the top. So using pressure on the release clip and then pulling the cable out. And then being careful as you get to the last ones, this is gonna, this is, gravity is gonna wanna take over, so you gotta be careful um, that it doesn't slip out from you and then, then the unit just tumbles down. So make sure that that doesn't happen to you as you're getting to these last ones. So um, that's a lot, there's a lot of these uh, plugs. Um, here's one more down low. The release for this one is underneath. So does this one have more plugs because of like the XM than a standard, well, or do you know? This no, I don't. Um, I'm just taking out what what's there. This is a. Uh, this here is one that interconnects into it uh, of itself. So um, and and I don't know why that is. So it, you know that's something that needs to be looked at. So why is it that it has these? three plugs all plugging into each other. That's something that we would have to look into uh, why that is and do we need to do that again for the aftermarket. And then this last one here, I'm not finding the release um, underneath easily. So this last gray one has given me a problem. Is, so that the, is that the power? So there is a clip here, but why is it? <clears throat> not sure where the release of this is. It should just be this right here, but that's not, there's nothing given. Um, so I wanna look at right, that. We're gonna dig deeper into that. I'm gonna put it back in. 
Okay, this is our other expert installer. He's telling us how to get that All piece right, off. All right, so if you can see the connector on the top, there's a little tab. There's a little hole on the connector. You just use a tool, press on that all the way down. It'll release the connector, and you can slide it right out. It did slide out real easy when you did that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You can always put it in and do it again if you want. Put that over here. That was my cameo. So, oh, great. so he's taking the wiring harness that came with the unit well, and gonna, just seeing if the things I was gonna line take, up and it take it apart for works. you to show you where, where we were. Okay. So this one black connector, which will go into the power, right? So this is the power um, here. All right, so that's the sticker that came with it to tell you to only use this power connector. Don't do it, use anything else. So they want this one power connector here to, to uh, power all these connectors. Okay, so that, that one power connector will go into this. And then we're going to use all these connectors in here. So the, we started with the biggest one. Actually, no, we started with the widest one, which was this. So this one here, um, so we're using that one, and it's it was the widest. So we still don't know if the wiring harness we have matches up to the exact stereo that we had initially. Because if you have certain types, you have to buy a, a different wiring harness. So we did not get that. They said it should work. So we're going to see if they line up and work properly. Right. So we're just using what what, what came with it. So, I believe they said you need a canvas cable if you have the JBL audio. But that's all I read. Yeah, this unit doesn't have JBL. So um, I'm just... Trying to keep um, these cables clean and untangled. Now this one here, that has the um, the RCA uh, aux cables. It looks like um, that these um, that this one here goes with this cable here. So that looks like uh, it would go there. And then you can see now it definitely doesn't. I don't need this. So that one doesn't match up. And we have this one here, which doesn't look like it will match up to anything. That one we've said no. Uh, this is looking like a bust. This one here, no, I, 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 this one here that has the uh, video. Um, it has the video, um, so that's for the camera in. So that looks like it should go with this. And it doesn't. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't see these lining up very well. This one will probably go to that. So that one would match up right here. Now it's always possible that these, like for this, we don't need these because these may just go into the back of the unit. So it's possible that that's the case but that doesn't look likely right that doesn't look like that's gonna go and this definitely doesn't look like so i don't see anything there so then um what do we have up here some more cables um and again actually i'm sorry this did fit i don't know why i discounted that so this definitely goes in so that's that's for sure and then with What's left, this one here, looks like it would go into here. Let's see if that's the case. No. This, no. I, mean, I have one little, um, this is like an antenna one, um, which probably is this. This is what I thought the antenna was. I don't know if that goes into here or not, but... Uh, and then you also have this other gray one, which that was this could power, be wasn't it? one of these might be XM and we know that you're not going to have that. So one of these we probably aren't going to be using. And what's left, I don't have a, a good match. So this, this isn't going to go into here. 
This is not going to go into here. We don't know what this cable is for. And then in the back, oh my. Okay, so that, that's what these are being used for. Yeah, I believe two of them are for the, um, yeah, those uh, USBs. All right, so that's, that's for the accessories if you want to um, put like uh, other screens. Looks that way. So you have um, this here is for the it's for video and other um, accessories using that connector, and um, we are off. I'm just gonna pull this connector back out. I'm looking at that connector to see if that would go here, but I don't think so. On oh, this here, um, this is the antenna, um, which that would probably go here, right? So. That would that would be going here, but then that antenna needs to, that needs to connect to either one of the. One well, of you these. have to put the GPS antenna that came with the kit into this. Right. So and then now looking at this connector, which is the one we still don't have one. I don't think that I mean that definitely is not going to go into any of these. So. Um, We are still without how many this well this connector we're not sure um, what that would plug into because again we don't neither one of these plugs is for this one so I mean that's not and that's not going in that way or this way right so and it's not the right size so it's not that one and it's not this one. So this this one needs some some type of an adapter it appears. Alright. Alright, let's we'll... go look at it more and see if we find anything else. So this is the other cable I got from Crutchfield that is supposed to be the converter to use your stock camera on a let me see which one is your stock camera on um, an aftermarket radio. So it looks like you said that fits one of the plugs we didn't have a match to? Right, so the remaining plug, well, outside of these smaller gray plugs, which we still have to work with, but this one plug here does appear that it would connect straight into uh, this plug here, which it does. So this is for the rear view camera, or rear view camera converter. Sorry, what, what, so right now, this, the, the unit came with, no, we actually had to order a separate microphone. So here's the m microphone with the three and a half millimeter uh, plug, which will go into the uh, jack, which is in this connector here. Uh, so this connector has the three and a half millimeter female. This will be plugging in right here like so. You'll hear it click unplugging it and then now we're placing it um, you could put it up here high and running along the dash and drop it in that's a lot of work so we're actually going to end up placing it not where the steering wheel steers but the the column here uh, in this direction um, but making sure that it doesn't interfere with the adjust the adjustable steering wheel so it'll probably be placed somewhere right, right about here. And we're going to be running the cord for this uh, in through the steering column and then coming in here. So that's what we're working on. And also everything here, you're just trying to line up. So yeah, the um, this is one of the uh, connectors that came with the unit. You see all these plugs, and um, so far we've we've gotten two of them married, uh, which is the uh, the aux right auxiliary and the left auxiliary. Um, so we were able to match those, and then we're going to be trying to match the remainder of these. Um, not all of these are going to get used, but um, you can see that there's uh, three video inputs here. Um, we only need one, so we're going to figure out which one matches and and be going through that and then using um, possibly the uh, these uh, 
other um, two wires here. One that's a, uh, a camera power, and uh, another one that's a uh, an, uh, an amp controller. We may may or may not be using those, um, so we'll be figuring all that out. So here's everything. It's out. So what changed? The installer. Taking it here. See if they can finish it up. It's all installed. Looks like it's working. I'm testing out the Amazon Music app so I can get rid of Sirius XM because this Amazon is free with Amazon Prime. And if you look here, it shows you the lyrics so you and your passengers can sing along and sort of like be karaoke while you're driving. Really cool feature. Here is the unit at night. I don't know if this is just my camera or does this little white dot show up? It must be a, a reflection of some sort. Let's see, that's not on there. So ignore that little dot. This video isn't giving justice to how it looks. It looks really washed out in the video, but it definitely looks sharp. Um, good color, pretty crisp. So that's it at night. I did add a Sirius XM app, which is just like Sirius XM because it is. This one to show you how it uh, looks, light it up, you know, with the dash. The coloring here, this greenish color matches this green. Looking at it with the naked eye, it's identical. But this looks a little different in this video. But like I probably mentioned before, all these this color can be adjusted. You can change that to whatever color you want. So there it is. And that's it. I mean it's it's big. Nice big screen. Please be sure to check out my other videos because I will be releasing uh, either one pretty long one or I'll break it up in a couple of videos going over all the features of this head unit. Uh, it is absolutely worth every penny. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. If you could please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Just want to show you how big the screen looks in relation to everything else in the dash. There it is. It's pretty darn big. The nine inches. And let's see what the full screen, something bright with maps. Humongous, huh? I mean, look how good it looks like it's factory. Looks like it belongs from the factory. There it is.